Today on Personal Injury Court. All of a sudden, I just felt myself falling. You fell from a cliff? Yes, sir. I felt my leg just snap in half. Oh! I felt my arm break. Oh! My head had hit a rock coming down, Your Honor. I kept going in and out of consciousness when I when I hit the hit the bottom, Your Honor. I, I felt like I was going to die. So you're asking this court to award you a total of nineteen million dollars. This is personal accountability. This is not one of our marked trails, and this is the trail that Mr. Howard willingly I mean, walked on. Ms. Reyes, this looks like a hiking trail to me. How's he supposed to know that this is not a hiking trail? Judge Gino Brogdon spent 10 years on the bench ruling on cases worth billions of dollars. Now he presides over some of the largest claims in TV history. This is Personal Injury Court. Good day, everyone. This is the matter of Howard versus Oakmont North Hotel. Ms. Reyes, you are here representing Oakmont North Hotel? Yes, Your Honor. And Dr. Howard, you are suing Oakmont North Hotel for injuries you received when you were on their property, right? Yes, Your Honor. Now, you're asking this court to award you $1 million for past medical bills, $8 million for pain and suffering, and $10 million for lost wages for a total of $19 million. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And Ms. Reyes, you believe that this is not the hotel's fault? Yes, Your Honor. That Dr. Howard is responsible for his own injuries? That is correct, Your Honor. All right, let's get into the legal sauce. Doctor, how would you get to this property on this day? Your Honor, I've been visiting this property for the last 15 years. It's a place where my ex-wife and I... I'm sorry, I've just... It, I'm, I'm recently divorced and it's still taking a toll on me. Okay. Your Honor, we enjoyed this place for the last 15 years. You know, we brought our kids there. We enjoyed the trails and walking along the coastline. You know, just just a beautiful place, you know. So so when we got divorced, I, you know, I was I'm a little shook up. I still am a little bit, you know. And I wanted to go back because it's my happy place. What kinds of things other than hiking would you do with your family? Well, there was nature walks, you know, through the trails, you know, rock climbing, you know, we'll have picnics, you know. Hopefully my pastime, fishing. <laughs> well, I would do that by myself, Your Honor. Yes, sir. <laughs> but yeah, just just a beautiful time. The kids, the kids really loved it. I mean, that's why we go every every year. You know, my wife and I, we 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 absolutely adored it all the time. I wanted to still go there, you know, while I'm going through this divorce to try to make me feel a little bit better and, you know, kind of reminisce about all the good times that we used to have. So, Ms. Reyes, tell me about this property. Tell me about the hotel. Well, it is set on uh, mountainous terrain. Um, some of the amenities, aside from hiking, we have horseback riding, fishing, as you said, golfing. It's just a really nice place to vacation with your family. Beautiful, picturesque mountains, just wonderful scenery, and we have uh, numerous hiking trails. So, just Dr. Cool. Howard was a longtime renter at your property? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Howard and his family uh, would come every year, ever since their children were little, as a matter of fact. And this is the first year that he has come um, without Mrs. Howard and, and his family. So, you came on this time alone yes, try to Honor. clear your head? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so tell me about that day. Well, Your Honor, I didn't necessarily want to go alone, so I took a house guest with me. Okay. And uh, so, you know, we're there, and, you know, me and my house guests, we're talking, and, you know, we're, we're you know, the subject of the marriage came up. Uh, Those are know, hard conversations. It, it was. Yes, it was. You know, we kind of got into a little argument because I got into my feelings. My friend kind of suggested that maybe it was, you know, my fault or something I could have done, you know, and I, I didn't feel that way, and I just, you know, I felt like I wasn't getting the support that, that I wanted from Well, everybody from my... needs a buddy who can tell it like it is. I well, guess you had one of those. Yeah, of course, of course. But, at, you know, I guess at the time, I didn't want to hear that. You know, I wanted to hear it, you know, hey, buddy, you know, it's not your fault, you know, you know, just to make me, I guess, to make me feel a little bit better than, you know, what I was feeling. Since it didn't go that way, you know, I just, I, I got upset. So I wanted to, you know, just go out and just cool my head because we had just got through an argument, you know. Okay. So, you know, I was going on a, a nature walk. I'm going down a, a, a path. I mean, I take about three or four steps and all of a sudden I just feel myself falling. I, you know, I'm, I'm falling maybe 10, 15, 20 feet down to the ground. I mean, and, and I'm tumbling down this mountain and, and, and as I'm tumbling, I could literally can feel, I felt my leg just snap in half, you know. I felt my arm break. My, my head had hit a rock coming down, Your Honor. I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I, 
I, I kept going in and out of consciousness when I when I hit the hit the bottom, Your Honor. I, I felt like I was gonna die. So you fell from a cliff? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. From a cliff, you know. And 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 it, it was just I, just imagine, you know. I mean, feeling every bump and 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 you know. Every and when you rock. hit the bottom, you hit rocks and I things hit like rocks. that. Yes, sir. My head hit a couple of rocks coming down, and then when I finally land, my head hit a rock, and I'm I'm in and out of consciousness, and I'm 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 thinking like my life is over, like I'm about to die, Your Honor, and... and you are um, lucky to be alive. Thank you, sir, I am, I am. Ms. Reyes, you all obviously want people to hike on the property, right? Of course, Your Honor, yes. And they're not going on guided tours. That is, they can go out and walk around and enjoy the beauty of the property, right? Yes, Your Honor. So how does something like this happen? Well, Your Honor, at the Oakmont, we have safe hiking trails. They're marked by yellow lines. Um, we also have uh, trees along safe, approved hiking trails. Mr. Howard went on a non-marked hiking trail. Um, and if, um, if I could, I do have some video. Yeah, you've, su you've submitted some video to this yeah. court. Let's see it. Okay, this is where Mr. Howard's accident actually occurred. As you can see, there are no yellow lines. There are no... Um, there's no trail. It's very, very steep, very, very narrow. Um, we at the Oakmont always speak to our, our guests. This is personal accountability. This is not one of our marked trails, and this is the trail that Mr. Howard willingly I mean, walked on. Ms. Reyes, this looks like a hiking trail to me. How's he supposed to know that this is not a hiking trail? Coming up... This is one of our safe hiking trails. And it looks like something other people have walked on. We have signs, Your Honor. Is this one of your signs? Exactly. That is one of those signs. It was getting dark when I started to walk out on the trail. There has to be personal accountability. Again, this is not one of our trails, Your Honor. As you can see, there are no yellow lines. There are no, um, there's no trail. It's very, very steep, very, very narrow. Looks like a hiking trail to me. How's he supposed to know that this is not a hiking trail? Our hiking trails, again, they are marked, like this picture right here. This is one of our safe hiking trails. As you can see, it's marked with a clear yellow line on the premises. I guess I'm struggling because the other one doesn't have a yellow line, but, I mean, it's wide enough to walk on. It looks like something other people have walked on. We have signs, Your Honor. Is this one of your signs? Exactly. That is one of those signs. And Dr. Howard, did you ever see one of these signs? This particular trail, there was no sign That's on this, not true, on this particular trail. But trail. Dr. Howard, you, you are a very educated man. I would imagine you'd know that yellow lines means you stay with the yellow lines, right? I, I under, understand that, Your that Honor. Was... It was a little, it was a little, get, it was getting dark when I started to walk out on the trail. Okay. okay. But it clearly it looks just like a trail. If what? it, you know, if it wasn't a trail, then they should have, you know, had some type of warning lights, you know, to say, hey, listen, there's this is not a trail. So if there's not a sign, Miss Reyes, don't walk here, turn back, do not enter, those kinds of things. On this particular trail, there has to be a personal accountability. Again, this is not one of our trails, Your Honor. We're not able to monitor all of the, the habits of our, of our guests. We can't babysit and handhold each guest, Your Honor. But one of the attractions to your property is the various trails and right. nature. It right. doesn't get any more beautiful than that. I mean, right. I want to go walk that trail, right? But that's yeah. not one of our that's not one of our safe trails, Your Honor. So why why if it's that's what I'm saying, Your Honor. That if the purpose of the place is because of the trails. You your know? Honor. And if that's not one of your trails, may, then you should have marked it as this I is may, not one of our trails. Your Honor, Mr. Yes, Howard just wasn't paying attention. It was dark. He walked the trail alone. Miss Reyes, please don't assault my intelligence. I'm I'm, I'm a surgeon here, okay? You know, I, I know a sign when I see a sign, you know, that's clearly, you know, a trail that There's I, that also I was a common walking. sense factor, Mr. Howard. That is okay. not one of our trails. Well, Dr. Sense, Howard, talk to me. Common sense would have told you to, you know, put something up there to keep people from walking that trail. Next. I just feel like my life is ruined and, and my career is over. Well, I see that you're asking for this court to award you $10 million for lost wages. You know, I, I can't, I can't work. You know, there's nothing I can do. And know. so you step off that cliff. Yes, sir. And you fall 15 feet down on some jagged yes, rocks? Yes, sir. Where is this gate? That gate is right there at the drop point. That fence in no way, shape, or form implies our fault. 
and all of a sudden, I just felt myself falling. I'm tumbling down this mountain, and I felt my leg just snap in half, you know? I felt my arm break. I felt like I was gonna die. Our hiking trails, again, they are marked. They are yellow lines, like this picture right here. We have signs, Your Honor. Is this one of your signs? Exactly, that is one of those signs. And Dr. Howard, did you ever see one of these signs? This particular trail, there was no sign that's on this, not true, on your this Honor. particular trail. Dr. Howard, you walk off this cliff, you land on the bottom. Did you know that this was really bad? Your Honor, when I woke up in the hospital, some people that were camping out there actually found me, you know, and, and alerted, you know, security to come and, you know, rent So you were to. out there at some point in the dark by yourself? Yes. With yes, these Your horrible Honor. injuries? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. And, and now I just, I, I just feel like my life is ruined and, and my career is over. You know, I, I, can't, I can't work. You know, it's nothing I can do. Doctor, I see your medical bills of $1 million. Yes, sir. I mean, that would break most people's back. How are you doing that? I'm, I'm, it's just, I, I can't, I'm, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm a surgeon. I need my hands to, you know, to operate, and I, I, I'm not able to do anything. Well, I see that you're asking for this court to award you $10 million for lost wages. You've missed a lot of time, haven't you? I have, Your Honor. I have. According to the court papers, you suffered a broken arm mm -hmm. and a broken leg. Yes, sir. That's my leg. You see where it's broken in half, Your Honor. And the worst of your injuries was a traumatic brain injury. Yes, yes. So yes. you hit your head on the rocks. Yes, Your Honor, I did. And that's what knocked you out. Yes, yes, yes. You have been through it. I have, Your Honor. And that's why you're asking this court for $19 million. Correct, because I can no longer perform, you know, as a surgeon anymore. And my career is over thanks to, you know, their, their negligence and, you know, putting up, you know, warning signs and, you know, preventing anyone from, you know, taking the wrong trail. Dr. Howard, I yes, want sir. you to explain to me what you're doing on this trail. Do, would, you, would you mind walking over to the, the plasma and uh, look at this video? Sheriff Matt, will you help the doctor out? Yeah. Take your time, sir. Mm -hmm. Now, Doc, show me the path that you were walking. Okay, Your Honor, you can, can't really see it that much, but starting down this way and coming around. Okay, so I'm, I'm coming down here and I'm walking down the path and you kind of see where the, the path kind of narrows out, you know, over this way. Okay. You know, and here about right here in this area, you and know. so you step off that cliff. Yes, sir. And you fall 15 feet down on some jagged yes, rocks? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a yes, sign, Your Honor. Sir, you may return to the podium. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It. Take your time. Ms. Reyes. Yes, Your Honor. Now, it, it wouldn't hurt you to put even some uh, red paint out here, some fluorescent red paint along that grass line to let him know he's in the danger zone. You all could have done that, right? I suppose so, Your Honor. Well, if this thing's that dangerous, obviously we know it is, right? Exactly. Why not put a gate or something out there to, to block people from even getting well, on that Your break? Honor, Your Honor, if I may say, but if I may say this, <laughs> I have a photo, because there's a gate there now. At the same exact spot where I fell at, there is now a gate there. And I can Sheriff Matt, if you'll retrieve the photo. I can explain that. Where is this gate? That gate is right there at the drop point where I showed you where I followed the path and came off the side of the cliff. Tell me about that, Ms. Reyes. Judge, we have the fence up as an extra precautionary measure. In addition to the sign that was already in place, that fence in no way, shape, or form implies our fault. But, Ms. Reyes, y'all could have put it up a little earlier than Correct. this, right? Yeah. Right. Right. So this proves that they're at fault, Your Honor. So, Dr. Howard, you, you kind of see this a lot like a ski resort, right? Yes. That is, they should put up ropes and gates and of things course. to let you know right. where you can ski and right. where you can't ski. Sure, sure. And the fact that they put this gate up after you fell right. shows not only they could do it, right. but they should have done it. Correct. Dr. Howard, that same common sense that applies to the gate, mm -hmm. does it apply to the yellow lines on the safe path? Exactly. It does, Your Honor. It does. You know, however, once again, like I said, Your Honor, I'm, I am a little distraught, okay? I'm, but you weren't blind. I wasn't blind, Your Thank Honor. Thank you, no, Your I Honor. It was a little dark. But you're not in your right mind at this point because you're still dealing with that conversation and this change in your life, right? And, and I, I agree. I did state that, that, you know, I was a little, you know, distracted, you know, in my mind. And, you know, and I wasn't, 
you know, necessarily paying attention to, you know, the safe trail, not safe trail. Like I said, I've been here for Personal 15 years, for the last 15 years, walking this campus all, all every time that I come. You know, a trail is a trail, so I'm, I'm walking the trail. And well, these next 15 years are gonna be different for you because this has changed your life. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. But, you know, my, my life will never be the same because of you. No, because it's of because you. It's because of you, you know? Folks, I think I've heard enough. I'm ready to render my decision. The verdict is in. You have put up evidence that shows that the hotel did not mark this obviously dangerous cliff. You want them to pay for changing your life. And the gate shows that not only could they do it, but they should do it, and they did do it. You claim that the hotel took every precaution that it was supposed to take. So his walking on the wrong trail, off the beaten path, is his fault. Let me give you a legal lesson. That gate is right there at the drop point came off the side of the cliff. That fence in no way, shape, or form implies our fault. Folks, I think I've heard enough. I'm ready to render my decision. In every personal injury case, the plaintiff, you, Dr. Howard, you have to prove that the hotel was wrong and that their wrong caused your obviously severe injuries. Here, you have put up evidence that shows that the hotel did not mark this obviously dangerous cliff, nor put something up that would tell you don't go down that path. Ms. Reyes, you claim that the hotel took every precaution that it was supposed to take. It marked its trails, it created a tree line, and if he had paid attention to the precautions you all took, the safety precautions, this never would have happened. So his walking on the wrong trail, off the beaten path, is his fault. But doctor, you have submitted this picture of that gate that the hotel put up. And the gate shows that not only could they do it, but they should do it, and they did do it, and therefore you believe that shows that they are responsible. Let me give you a legal lesson. The gate represents something called a subsequent remedial measure. The law says when a business owner sees a problem and they correct it after an incident of this sort, that although they took the right measure, it's not to count against them in the lawsuit. The other legal concept that is just bright light here is called open and obvious hazard. If a hazard like a cliff or an ocean or a swimming pool is open and obvious, then the business owner, the property owner, need not warn you of what is open and obvious. Mm -hmm. A cliff is open and obvious. <laughs> And while I am sorry that you have suffered horrible injuries that have destroyed your career, I must be loyal to the law. You must lose because this cliff was open and obvious, and I rule in favor of the hotel and against you, doctor. Thank you. And that is my final verdict. This matter is adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor.